What is up, YouTube Edged Mindset here? We have got a knife. On this channel, we've got a knife that we're looking at. And I got to say, I am really, really happy with this thing. Um, and I mean that. Uh, I am really, I don't want to say I'm blown away because this is like the fourth 4Max I've owned uh, in my knife owning career. But I don't know if it's just I forgot how awesome this knife is or if it's this particular version or maybe just the headspace I'm in, but or or maybe it's the price that I got this at. I mean, the price that I got this at makes me almost want to buy two. And I don't typically buy two things of the exact same knife ever, but I'm tempted to do that here because uh, it's such a good price. 200 bucks, brand new, from Midway. I'll say it right now. Get out of the way. You don't have to wait till the end of the video. $200 shipped. I can't remember if I had to pay tax or not. Shipped from Midway USA. I would leave a link in the bio, but it's a firearms company, and that's uh, super bad here on YouTube, and they will destroy your life and steal your children for leaving links to firearm companies or companies that sell anything related to that world. Uh, so I won't do that, but you can Google it. Uh, most of you are probably already familiar with it. I couldn't believe it when I saw it. Uh, the price, I, I didn't necessarily completely trust it until I got it in today. I was also a little concerned that it wasn't this elite version because the, the code said elite. Everyone in the comments said it was the elite and the picture is the elite, but the description made it sound like it was the regular version. Uh, but I got it and man, I freaking love this thing. So me and the 4Max, man, we've got a history. We have got a history. I uh, almost bought a custom version of this from the man himself, Andrew Demko. I ended up canceling the order because the configuration that he suggested I get exactly matched the first gen production version of these knights, right? So I had one on um, order from him and it was basically stonewash blade with the contoured coyote tan handle and I'm like, the production version is that exact knife. Like, I don't know, I struggled with it. So I, I canceled that custom order and uh, just picked up the very first production edition. And then I think I actually had issues with that one. And so they sent me out another one. And then I sold that one and I bought the Italian made edition version, I think with the gray handle. And then I sold that one. And that was years and years ago. And uh, I decided to pick one up again. So I went with the Elite version. And I am in love with this knife. It is uh, so cool. I love this G10, guys. I didn't know if I'd like it. I don't usually like the multi-tone. But the two colors work really well. And um, it's the pictures make it seem like it's a brighter green. It's really a subdued green and then a charcoal black. And so there, it doesn't have a super contrasty type look to it. But the main thing, I don't remember the scales being so flat on the original. And I could be wrong. These are pretty flat. Like they're just, they're, they're basically flat scales, really thick flat scales. And they're kind of uh, they're they're kind of contoured, I guess. Maybe they're not flat. I guess they're contoured. They they just feel way flatter than I remember them, and way flatter than like the eighty ten. And I like that. I, I don't like contoured G ten scales or any. Uh, it doesn't have to be G ten. I don't like the contoured. I don't know why. It's a personal thing. It just feels weird. I like them to be flat. I like the edges to be melted and softened. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying I like, I'm not an animal. I don't like hard edges. Um, but I like the, this part to be flat and you get that on here. And I, I want to say that the original 4Max that I picked up didn't have that. I could be wrong. Uh, it also has a really blasted finish. So it's got a lot of texture to it. It's not very smooth. So they've taken the G10 and they've really given it a good blasting and it gives it a lot of awesome texture. Now, other than that, everything else feels similar. They've got the new, no, they don't have the new logo. I thought they had the new logo on here. They don't have that. S35VN, stonewash blade. This thing, I mean, it's a beast. It is a beast. Some other features that I really like on this particular knife is all of the hardware is blasted. Nothing is shiny. The lock bar. I wanna say these, liners are titanium. I cannot find any 
information confirming that these are titanium, um, but they look way too dark to be aluminum. And then I would also say that at this price point and calling it an elite, um, I'd find it hard to believe they would really charge like triple, really triple the cost of an 8010 for just a larger 8010. So I'd imagine there's got to be something more to the elite that would make it worth that. And the only thing I can think of is a titanium clip and uh, titanium liners. And what makes me think that is just the, the tone. It's just too dark to be even steel. Like it's, um, I'm trying to think if I've got, I mean, obviously I've got some shiny steel. Uh, I'm trying to see if I've got some sort of knife handy that is uh, stone washed. I mean, this is kind of stone washed, light stone washed maybe, but you can just kind of see the, the tone. You know, it's just a much darker tone on here. It looks much more like titanium. And uh, I don't have anything readily available to do a really good comparison to, but you know what I'm saying? And especially the liners compared to like the 8010, much darker. Um, and that makes sense, right? Because otherwise, like I said, you're really just not getting that much more in the 4MAX Elite than you would in 8010 other than just a bigger size. And this is a monster, monster burrito, four inch blade, 10 inches overall, 10.1 ounces. Boom, I wanna, I wanna check my scale, see what I get on here. Uh, see if my scale is correct or it's correct. Or So I'm getting 10 ounces even. I'm 0.1 ounces off from what they're reporting. Ooh, I better write them a strongly worded email. Uh, really like this knife. It does have grittiness though. I don't know if you're gonna hear that. I, um, I've, I've gotten that on a few different knives. I got that on my Tonto 8020 or 8010 and I got it not on my drop point black coater. That one's super smooth. And I got it on my Espada that I just got. Um, and it's just due to the machining on the front face of the lock bar. And it's, that's a little, uh, I would say that that's a, that's a knock, you know, cause that's something they should not have. Um, it should really be smooth. You can hear it just that grittiness and it's it's because of the machining on there leaving grooves and then this runs into those grooves. And it's um, at least on my 8010 Tonto, uh, they're pretty deep. So I, I took care of that one, I polished it up with, uh, you gotta take some pretty good sandpaper to it and really clean it out and smooth it out and polish it up. Um, but it's just, you know, they should take that extra step to do better machining on that lock face like they do everywhere else on here. Uh, but because it's like an internal piece, I guess they don't really care. But um, yeah, less than desirable, especially at this price point. Not the $200 price point, but the listed price on this, which I think is around like 400 bucks. So 50% off at that midway. And I am by no means uh, an ambassador or I don't get any kickbacks on uh, them. I just came across it and couldn't believe it. Um, blew me away that they had it for that cheap. Um you can see, you know, there's a little quirks here. This uh, backspacer here, which I'd imagine is titanium as well. And you can see the tonal change. So the lock bar is definitely steel. And even though it's blasted, which darkens it up, you can see how it's a different shade than what's going on back here. Uh, not perfectly even, you know, it's a little bit offset. It's a little bit proud over here. And then it's a little bit uh, opposite of proud, whatever that word is back here. Um, but man, it's just a bruiser and these G10 scales with that texture, freaking awesome. Uh, like I said, I am so tempted to buy two of these, but then I'm like, why? I don't know. Keep one, sell one. I don't know. But, uh, four max, man, I'm, I'm glad to have one in my collection. And, uh, it's just one of those things. Like sometimes you buy a knife and you're iffy and you get it and you're like, yeah, I shouldn't have bought that. That was dumb. Sometimes you're iffy and you get it and you're like, holy crap, I'm so glad I picked that up. And that was the case here. I was almost regretting buying this because I'm like, I don't need it. I've got two 8010s. I, I don't need it. Yeah, it was a good price, but I, I don't need the thing. I've sold all the other ones that I've had, uh, but I am so glad I picked this up because it is uh, really cool, really nice. Maybe I'll do a video polishing up that lock face. I don't know. We'll see. All right, guys. I am out, uh, 4MAX 8010, Midway USA. Pick one up if you can, if you desire. 
Uh, really, really nice. Really awesome. All right, guys. Later.